No. You've confused me by changing key in the, oh. in the middle of the solo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> tremendous, uh, tremendous yeah. opening loop there, Mr. Pete. Yeah, well, uh, very, it's, it's, very Friday. It's very Friday. It's, it's very, very difficult Friday. to uh, to overdo that uh, the, the the Fender one and the Acoustasonic. The Acoustasonic uh, was a good opening loop, but I like that. I liked the key change as well in there. Oh, when it, it goes was, to it the was beautiful. The But hey, we're not here to talk about how good you are at doing loops, <laughs> Mr. Peter. Yeah. We're here to talk about the new Strymon Volavant. Volavantes. Well, is it a Volavant? The Volavant. Or is that, a little, is that a little thing you get at weddings oh, with a prawn we, in the top? We have to be careful with the Italian... Uh... Oh, ah. ah. Anyway, yeah. Strymon. Strymon, the undisputed heavyweight champions of making sort of ambient pedals. Uh, yeah. at, least, at least I think so. Is that fair? I mean, it's uh, it, yeah, it's fair to say that. I think so. They have a new pedal. Uh, they released a new pedal at NAMM called the Volante. 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 Uh, why do you think it's called a Volante? Because uh, it's based on the... Um, well, the name comes from the place that is close to where the old bins and echo reg was built in Italy. Uh -huh. I did not know that. No, well, I, the, you know, I was thinking, and it, I looked at Volante and it says it's Spanish for steering wheel or Italian. something. So, Italian. Anyway. It's okay. like re round stuff, but that is, that's because the bins and echo reg basically is, you know, that with, it's a tape, yeah. there's tapes around, well, or heads is, around, blah, blah, blah. This it's is a magnetic where, drum. Pete and I are too young to remember all of this, but so we're going to sort of, we're sort of reliably informed that, you know, back in the early days of, you know, the 50s and the 60s and probably the 70s as well, um, if you wanted to get echoes and things like that on your guitar, it was done using a variety of different machines, could have been done using reel-to-reel -reel machines, it could have been done using tape echo machines, could yeah. have been done with the bints and echo rec, these sort of magnetic drums. It's a drum that goes around with tapes. And you know. Probably a lot of that, you know, became way, way simpler and cheaper to do echoes when someone invented the digital delay. Yeah. And, and they're more reliable as well because yeah. tapes wear out, you know, for those of you who know what it knows what a, a tape is, you know, there's a little yeah. magnetic strip that goes around and it's it's gliding on a thing all the time tape. and it's yeah. tape, you know, and there's a little it's a but, little but microphone. It's the tone, it? isn't it? It's the, it's the, the tone. The, there's a certain tone from, from those guitar players from yesteryear, and it could be anybody, it could be anyone from Hank Marvin to Dave Gilmore, you know, lots yeah. of famous guitar it's sounds. Just, uh, they just the digital delay was too clinical, wasn't it? So that, so almost like the holy grail for digital delay is like, how do you make that sound and react like the old yeah. um, machines did? And I think technology is now caught up and, and you know, the processes, yeah. it's just shark DSP, all the stuff that's inside these machines yeah. now are so good to do it. I mean, if you want to watch, you know, videos on delay, go over and check out that pedal show, Megan Dan talking about delay for but, hours. So I, so I think the Volante though, this is the first one that I think we've seen, correct me again if I'm wrong here, but pretty much the first one that we've seen that goes, look, let's just kind of take those three um, styles of, of delay, a studio tape, you know, the, the old fashioned tape delay, and then the, the drums, the magnetic drums. Let's kind of get all the sort of, let's try and replicate all the kind of things that those, that, that those machines would do. So not just the speed and, the, and, and the, the way that the heads would, would replicate the delays, but also let's do control about things like the mechanics of the tape machine being slightly off or the wear of the heads or the spacing of the delays. Yeah. It's like, because I think half the charm of those old delays was where it started to modulate and all go a bit weird uh, and degradate because yeah, it, it was very It makes funny noises animal. and stuff, right? So, you know, recently there's been the Booner uh, little delay as well where you can we've got four heads on it and there's been a few where it's like you're it, either a copy of a tape machine yeah. or you're a copy of the bins what's the other one echo sex yeah thing. the echo you know, rec by echo. Uh, Catelyn Bread is, yeah you know, but and it's kind of it's kind of trying but this is this is just, everything this is just they've just taken it a step yeah. further so it's it? just like okay stop messing around here's just everything it's even got spring reverb in it but look, which is amazing the spring reverb in this is beautiful so so i want to just let's put turn it, in it all its, off yeah like this is its normal mode just to give you a quick the button on the left there, there's as with all strime and stuff there's always weird things happens when you hold and press buttons and, and stuff turn like that. stuff but and yeah, yeah. anyway turn it on and off mm. recall a favorite so you can kind of have two settings and there are additional ways to recall additional favorites we'll go into later and tap tempo over here so if yeah. you just it's most basic like that is that what you do with your kids recall your favorite one like, yeah absolutely <laughs> um <laughs> you've got um level controls base cut controls the wear and mechanics as i said uh, um 
flutter, like flutter and the modulation on the mechanics like yep. that. sort of replicates if you like the well, what it how says. broken it is <laughs> basically then you've got your switch between which type of delay unit you want it to replicate you've got a speed control time control you've then got over here how many repeats they're going to be what volume level they're going to be how much spring reverb do you want and what's the spacing between the delays but the heads. It's, it's the buttons in the middle that really replicate the sort of the four heads if you like the, the, the that you get on those old tape and magnetic drum machines mm. and it's super super easy you decide which one? Oh, hang on, I better, is it hold, you hold right? Hold that, yeah, hold that. Sorry, the yellow there was, I'll come on to that in a minute. So you kind of go, these are the tape heads that I want to work. And then underneath, these are the tape heads that I want to, if you like, continue to work. So instead of it just being a single delay, I'm gonna have multiple delays. Yeah, feedback on it. Uh, and they're all effectively different timing. So if Pete just yeah, does that, a- it's, it's, um, it's 16th, it's eight notes, it's dotted eights and quarter notes. Cool. So or if you if you just way, that's, yeah, that's the way it is. Well, let, let's just so if we just there you go. There's the first one. Second one. So that's your eight. Yeah, right. Third one. Okay, and then the fourth one. Because you see the tempo here. Let, let's tap the tempo. You want Two, a bit faster. Three, yeah. four, one. So we're going one. Ba da. Okay. So eight. Ba me four. So that's your and of course, problem. so the idea being on these is, if you just wanted a conventional delay, you know, you could just. So the second green light, this feedback one, that's saying I want it to continue to delay. Yeah. But all the kind of cool stuff uh, comes from when you start saying, well, what if I have this one and this one on? <laughs> Maybe you don't want one of them to feed back. Yeah. So you kind of get the idea. Sorry. And I think, well, I think we'll try and just keep this video to mainly us finding sounds that we like and playing, because that's where the sort of fun comes in. Yeah. If I start to turn up the wear and the mechanics, I think this is where you'll start to hear all of that sort of more unusual modulation and, and the, the more distinct changes in the way the repeats degradate over time. So let's let's go back to the, because we're on the tape now, let's yep. go to the drum okay. thing. And then let's just start with one of them, I think, because then you can hear. Oh, I see. Um, getting all technical on all technical. All It's right. funny because when you send in, I noticed earlier when I was doing it, uh, the, the recording level in, because it's got a mm -hmm. JFED buffer, a buffer in here, buffer, <coughs> a JFED <coughs> buffer. So, well. Yeah, so you can, you can, It kind of distorts the signal as cool. it would do, so that's the recording level coming in. A, I should have said to this to you before. Yeah. Please watch this either headphones or stereo speakers because we're recording in stereo and it's very, very cool. Yeah, so, and the low cut is basically, if you hear the delay. All the so, bass ends there. Yeah, and then. Less it goes in. higher when it goes up, you know, to, to get that Gilmore's brown sound. So let's let's start with the mechanical. Yeah. So yep. if I play, yeah, you play, and what you'll hear if if we if we leave the mechanics all the way off, there probably won't be a lot of modulation because the idea is that it's a constant. You know, the speed of the the, the drum or the speed of the tape stays the same all the time. Yeah. So if you. So you can see, there's not a lot of modulation there. No. If we emulate effectively the kind of the, the the mechanical side of things being a bit knackered so it's either faster or slower or whatever that therefore changes the pitch of some of the echoes but only just enough for you to really hear yeah, modulation hear yeah, modulation hear yeah, modulation hear yeah, modulation yeah, i mean obviously i've turned it up all the way yeah yeah, so yeah, yeah. It, it's kind of this goes uh, uh, yeah. a bit quick, maybe stuck some places. So, so. The, the the wear on the other side though, the wear is when the, when the mag, when the the heads, if you like, are pristine, brand new. What happens is the echo um, 
is repeated quite faithfully. So you hear the same note repeated over and over again, or the same tone of note. Yeah. The more knackered we make it, the more you'll notice that that note changes or degrades. Yeah. The, the more, more used, it repeats. The more used it is. Yeah. So, so if you play now, almost just like a fairly faithful delay, I turn it all the way up. You can hear each repeat is degrading as yeah. it goes on. And so that's really a, qu a question of, you just tune that into taste to give you the sound that you want. Okay, so let's go spacing then. Yeah. So spacing, spacing is... Spacing, I kind of want to read the description from the manual because I've... <coughs> I feel like it's one of those things. It's um, spacing adjusts the spacing between the heads. Turning the knob morphs the heads in between the marked settings, which are even, triplet, golden ratio, which says it's a, a, um, a dense, non overlapping echo, and silver ratio, which is uh, just says it's a non overlapping repeats bias towards the quarter notes. Now, Let's be honest with you, 99% of us didn't know what that meant. Uh, so we'll put two heads on and I'll just show you. So is it yeah. three and four? Yes, yeah, so let's just see. So that's even spacing, triplet. Dot, dot, that's your blue spacing. Golden. Yeah. Silver. Let's just try it. Wow. Let's try that I mean, and then do the same thing. There you got the even spacing mm -hmm. now. Wow. I mean, it, it's obviously doing something. I really don't know that I'm qualified to, to, to try and say to you which, <laughs> how you would do that on the old tape machines or the old, but obviously, it's, yeah. I mean, it's, that's what it does. This is like a trial. It's like when you sit down, you get a nice yeah. tone. You know, you've got, um, the speed up here is half normal or double. So you've got 400, 200, 100 milliseconds. Yeah. yeah. Um, reverb uh, built in. Reverb built in. So you can, one thing we didn't talk about is that we hold these down, it's, it, the level drops of half yeah. on, your head, on your head. So you can have one that's, you oh know, gosh. one will be louder than the other. Oh, it's the volume can, level, not the speed. It's the volume right, level. Okay. And you can, you know, so you can have, you can have two that's, I mean, it's, it's with the wear. I think there's, do you know what? I think there's two customers for this. Yeah. There's the guy that literally just goes, can I just have a really lush sounding old tape delay? I kind of don't want to get too weird and wonderful with it. I just want that nice kind of yeah. just. And then there is the shoegazer guy that goes, can I get the delay that goes into the ultimate feedback and really the, trip out over the spacing and blah, blah, blah. The guy who does this, that does this. With loads of repeats. says that guy you know, um, I just want to do that so I think Pete and I just want to get into just mucking around and playing so a um, couple of other features before we get into just playing as much as we can uh, it has a favorite mode it's quite common on Strymon pedals to be able to do that so you've got the option uh, without having to press anything of having whatever setting you've just got with the pedal on mm -hmm. and then essentially a favorite setting so you've got two mm. if you if you do go into some of the sort of the the, the modes where you hold buttons down and stuff you can actually store eight different favorites on here but yeah by holding it down yeah. and then, and then bear, choosing, bear choosing in mind your... obviously that you know you, you're not going to be able to choose different favorites without bending down and i think you get the little stuff. what's the little thing they do you can put in front here where you can have three There's a, yeah they extra. do another little dual button yeah. thingy way so you can actually have a couple more favorites it's full midi yeah so i think if you know if you're the kind of guitar player going right i want like 50 different delay settings or whatever, D2 then two system or absolutely. whatever. Then you, you just can, do that via MIDI. 300, apparently. Um, it has a looper built in. Yeah. I'm not sure if the, I mean, it, it seems to work kind of like a conventional looper, although it doesn't appear to store anything or give you any sort of undo. But 
you can do loops in here if you yeah. want to. You can make all the loops go in reverse if you want to use that as some kind of funky <laughs> effect. Uh, but I, I kind of think that the main thing is just it's got that sound where you just plug this in with your amplifier, you lose yourself within yeah, that yeah. ambient weirdness, yeah. and you just go, oh, three hours have gone past and it feels like two minutes. <laughs> That's exactly so, what has been happening the last couple of days. Yeah, D it's exactly like few... watching a video, except the difference is it feels like three hours have gone past, but actually you've only watched two hours, two minutes of video. <laughs> That's it. Just <laughs> anyway, really quickly, play. just want to do the spring. And you can hold these two down with the what? spring, and then you can do the length, the decay. So, full spring, and then you can go, hold them down, turn all the way down to so get a short delay, uh, short uh, spring. Hold these two down, and you get a. Well, let's it's just a, get it's a, a nice so, reverb. Yeah. So bear in mind, we're not, none of the amps have got their, oh, that's not true. We're using, we've got reverb. Yeah, we've got a little bit well. of reverb on. This is just to add on top of it, so okay. it's, it's fine. Uh, also, a really cool feature that I noticed is that you can hold down, uh, if you've got the delay on on here, if I hold down the, the top one and turn this knob, so if I hold down that one and turn that knob, yeah, it'll that delay head will go to one side. Okay? Yeah. And if I hold it down again, I can turn it to the other side. It only comes from one side, so you can do that on each. So you can have one tape head going to one side, so you can do ping pong delays. Boom, 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 boom. So for instance, like, let's do that back to that, and then put that on, and you can hold that down, and you turn that to the other side. So now, we should have... Dominant no, on that see? side, Yeah, but it? that's because one is... Yeah. Cool. So... See? So if you do the, the repeat you, you just went... <laughs> it's like a dancing in the dark. I enjoy listening to it more than I do talking about it. Because yeah. it's like, but have a listen it's to super this. complicated. Just have a listen to this. Not complicated, like in depth. There's a lot have, you can do with this. Have a listen, have a listen. Okay, I'm just, listening. Just have a listen. I love that. I love the the it's like going um, forever, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> I mean, it, it is. It's you have to pluck these things in, and you have to come in the shop, put them down, pluck them into two amps, and then sit down and just noodle with it. I mean, so it's like an infinite. If yeah, you hold, it just yeah, goes so on you, forever. Do... Do you know what I mean? It's it, it's but, so cool, man. And there's there's it does look no, and it, it does different colors, and there's so <coughs> much. That it looks really simple, right? It looks simple. I was but say, the it's manual, deceptive, isn't it? It's deceptive. It really is. Well, deceptive. it's not a big manual. I mean, look. No, just so you that, know, I was flashing like, different colors. That's as well. that's the whole manual. That's just, right. No, just it's like, not. There's a manual online. I know, but that's all any man would read, isn't it? Any like weirdy geek <laughs> people they would, would just read look more. at the front cover and go, "Yeah, this is Volante." On um, it. Oh, Volante is by the way is from Thunderball. I think if you type in Volante. Thunderball James Bond, you'll get this picture up. And I was actually hoping Lee was going to wear this bathing suit that she's wearing up here, but he didn't bring it. So, um, so you know what I'm talking about. I've no idea what you, you're talking about. You'll see it afterwards. I'm going to steal the guitar. Get me a big delay okay, sound beat with lots some, of reverb. You, you play something and I'll... I'll uh...
I've totally hacked that. I don't even. I only know that one bit and I make the rest of it up. But it's got a cool sound. The, uh, why is the because um, we've got the, the echo higher yeah, than the yeah, original no, note. I'm just, just trying to create some atmospheric uh, things, Lee, right?
<laughs> wow. You see what I mean? But it's that, it's that sort of thing. Unfortunately, you don't have fingers on your toes because then you could do that whole thing. I bet you can time, do all the know? expression pedal stuff with it there though, is, can't you? There is an expression input yeah, where so you, can you can sign probably, by uh, holding down this and plugging that back in and then doing well, this and that. Look. So, and it, there is much more to this pedal, but it sounds great and that, it's that's inspiring all I, to play. I kind of think that the, uh, I'm very conscious that actually you can get too up yourself with talking about like, oh, it can do this and press this button down and do the, the joy of this is just playing it. But we've both done right? it and we've all done it in here. This has been in here yeah. for a couple of days and we've just been plugging in and then the next thing you know, they've been sitting here for like half an hour going, didn't you have some work to do? Yeah. You know, yeah. You're just completely sewn out with it. It's very, very cool. It's, it's very, very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Um, I don't know that there's anything out there quite like it. Um, and well done, Strymon. And just yeah. in case you're wondering as well, we've been using the, the Sunset Overdrive Sunset. entirely just to keep this video all of yeah. it strymony. And one of these. Um, and yes, this was just a change between whether I was playing the guitar or Pete was. Victory V40, V40 Deluxe. P35 from Rift. Rift. Uh, from the Stratocaster. GNL ASAT. Special. Bosch. Danish person. <laughs> English person. Hey. Hey. Let's go. That's it. Right. Have a good weekend. Yes, except of course this video will probably go up on a Tuesday or something like that, in which case... But, but you might watch it again on a Friday in the, well, in the future. You would do You that. might actually be, in, from the future, back in the past, watching it on a... where there's two Fridays in a week. Come on, McFly, just finish the video. There we go. Is there anything else to say? No. I mean, you could get so technical.